Hey guys, so as you can tell from the title, we're back with another luxury haul. So I have pieces from Chanel, Hermes, um, a pair of sunglasses from Louis Vuitton, and then I have some skincare and beauty products from Guerlain, Chanel Beauty, Givenchy Beauty, Copari Beauty, and maybe something else that I'm forgetting. Um, so I'm going to start with Chanel. So the first thing is a visor from Chanel. Um, the essay had told me which season this was from, but I don't recall now. I don't think it's their newest one. I think it's their cruise one. Um, I'm not really sure. I think he said it was their cruise collection. Um, but I thought this was so adorable. It's in the... Did it even have sizes? Um, they may not have had sizes in this, but it fits quite large. It also has a buckle that you can adjust um, to make it smaller or larger. Now this was so cute. Um, so it's basically like a cotton material, I believe. Um, yeah, 100% cotton. So it has this really cute CC right here. I just realized that... I forgot to put my rings back on after I showered today. I normally shower with them on, but I'd remove them because I was getting my nails done this morning, and I don't like when they put on the lotion and then it gets in your rings and stuff. So I had taken them off, and I just realized I forgot to put them back on. I feel very naked with this realization, but I'm not going to pause the video to put them back on. Um, I just noticed that right now. And I actually have like tan lines from where my rings work, so I wear them literally every day. Um, anyway, so I really loved this. I'm not really sure I can try it on very well, considering I'm wearing an Emilio this is Amelia Pucci, by the way, um, scarf on my head, so I don't really think we're going to be getting the right vibe here. I basically would look like this. Um, I am going to be bringing this with me on my vacation to Bora Bora, so I will have probably Instagram stories and maybe like clips in that vlog of me actually wearing it, um, where I'm not having a scarf on my head that's kind of killing the vibe. So definitely look at those posts if you want to see better how it looks on. But it was so cute and it was only like 500, which I know some people watching this might think that's a lot. But for Chanel, considering my other Chanel hats were closer to a thousand, I thought that was a pretty good price. I did purchase this uh, in Paris. Um, I don't remember the store location, I'll have it on the screen. And then he'd offered to put this in a box for me, but I told him just put it in a dust bag uh, because I already had a box from the Hermes bag, or not the Hermes, the Chanel bag, and then I also had the box from the Hermes bag. And, too many boxes that were already in my carry-on because I don't pack this stuff in my checked bag so it was just going to be not enough space if he put it in a box so I just had him put it in a dust bag so I was very pleased with that little purchase I love visors and hats just in general I also just love wearing like headpieces whether it's a scarf or um, a headband like Masoni's headbands I love those um, anything that's like a really cute little headpiece is totally up my alley next thing from Chanel is a mini flap in black with silver hardware so if you already saw my uh, Positano and Capri vlog then you would have already seen me unbox this, um, but I thought I would also show it on here because some people may not have thought to look at that video for um, a little Chanel bag unboxing moment. Um, so I've been looking for this bag for a while. I purchased this at the Capri store location um, in Italy. Um, I don't even want to fully unwrap it yet because um, I have the haul to do and I don't want... I accidentally, with one of my mini flaps, I had left the chain. I had it sitting like on the chain and it put little dents in it. So I don't want to do that with this one, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, but it's basically the rectangle mini flat bag. And this was also less to buy um, in Italy. Uh, I think the VAT was like 22% back or something like that. So I ended up um, paying 4200 there, um, when normally this is before tax in the US, this would be 4400 And then I also receive um, 600 back with the VAT refund, so it ends up being a lot less than if you were to purchase this in the US and I think this is also um, sold on consignment stores and stuff for even more than that because this is kind of a difficult bag to get a hold of. Um, so yeah, I love it. I love the size. I'm very excited about this piece. And I also love how these bags have the back pocket. You can never go wrong with a mini flap. Um, and I have to have the back pocket for, we've already gone over that, how I need to have that for sanitary purposes. When I'm leaving a store, I need to be able to quickly put my credit card somewhere so I can sanitize my hands because I don't like touching my bag and getting in and out of it maneuvering around when I have dirty hands. Um, we've already gone over that um, in a prior video how I have germaphobe problems. So I really love this bag. I'm so excited to be using it. Um, I think it can only be worn one way, which is crossbody, which is fine. Um, I did try it on in the store and it looked really cute on. I had like a little black romper. So I wish I took a video of a clip. I was just too excited to buy it. So I didn't even think to film any clips of me trying it on, but I'm really excited and happy with this purchase. Last fashion piece from Chanel are these sunglasses. So I think these are part of their new collection. They're the, these like oval burgundy ones. Um, my dad actually got these at Nordstrom. So he got these while 
um, I was on my vacation, so these weren't from uh, the vacation. So the mini flat bag was at the Capri um, store location in Italy, that's where I purchased that, and then the visor was from the Paris store location, and these my dad purchased while I was away, um, just at Nordstrom in the US, so they look really cute and different on. Okay, this is like getting in the way. So here's how these look on. So these can only be worn a few different ways. If you just have your hair down or in like a low bun, it's not really working. It has to be kind of a messy hair vibe. Um, my mom and I tried, tried these sunglasses with different hair looks and we noticed that it looked best with kind of a messier hair vibe of like maybe your hair's just up in a clip or a messy bun is where these looked best. Um, they didn't really seem to look that good. It kind of had like a buggy look if you wore it with your hair like straight or just kind of like not doing anything. There had to be like some sort of like messy bun for it to be a vibe. Um, I can't really tell right now, I have really bad eyesight. How it looks with the braids, it looks like it's okay. But the best vibe for these is for your hair to be up in like a messy bun. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like every pair of sunglasses has like a way that you wear them. I don't know. Um, for it to be like the best vibe, <laughs> the maximum vibe ability. Um, so this is like a messy bun vibe, um, which maybe I'll show in my Bora Bora vlog or something if you want to see that in action. And then they came in the usual case. All of Chanel sunglasses come in the exact same case. I don't own any Chanel sunglasses that don't come in this exact same case. I probably have like 15 of these cases. Um, I don't know, I've just noticed like other brands switch it up with the sunglass case, contingent on the collection or the kind of sunglasses. And I've noticed Chanel is just like they always have the same case. Also, my nail color is from OPI called It's a Girl. Um, I just always get questions about my nail color, so I figure I'm going to start just saying my nail color in videos from now on. Next are some products from Chanel Beauty. So the first two I actually purchased for my mom. Um, these are, uh, I purchased these at a Della Monica Perfumera, Perfumeria, something like that. Um, it was a perfume store in Capri, Italy. Um, I just knew it would be less to buy. Um, you know, just all of this stuff would be less to buy there. So I know that she loves Chanel skincare. So I had purchased her this one to try because I don't think she owns this. And then this is like her holy grail. It's the Lift uh, Creme de Nude. So I got her these two. They also included some samples um, and it was less to buy there. And then I also got a VAT refund. Um, so I then decided I was trying these Chanel samples uh, with the little minis that they give you when you order online or if you go in store and stuff, they'll give you little samples. So I was trying them out um, mostly just because they were compact and convenient to use for travel. I've never really even thought of purchasing functional skincare before. I think just because I'm so much in PR that I don't really think about spending money on those kinds of things. I try to just utilize products that I'm sent, um, but I was so impressed from the samples, especially the Creme de Nuit. This one, my skin was perfect. I didn't have any breakouts, nothing, and I do have very sensitive skin, so I decided to then purchase myself one. Um, so I've been using them, so whether um opened. And then I also really liked this. It's the number one, their like, new line um, creme, I don't know, it's the number one moisturizer. I don't know how to pronounce any of these words that are on here. It's the Camila one. Um, and I didn't really think I would like this line because I have tried the serum from this line and it didn't really, it didn't do anything good or bad for my skin. It just kind of did nothing. Um, and so I had the sample of this figuring, okay, it's not going to do anything, but I actually really liked it. And I loved the way that it looked underneath makeup. Um, I don't really wear foundation or anything, but like tinted moisturizer and stuff. I really liked how it kept my skin hydrated. Sometimes I do have a flakiness problem when I apply concealer, tinted moisturizer, anything of the sort, my skin can become flaky. So I really liked how this uh, kept my skin hydrated and kind of prevented that flakiness from occurring. Then I also purchased from that same store location this blush, which is a blush duo effect tweed. So I already have two of these blushes. Um, one's in like a light pink color and the other one's in a coral. And I've noticed I can't really wear the light pink when I'm tan. So I wanted kind of a darker pink that I can wear when I'm tan because I tan really easily to the point I start changing ethnicities. Um, I'm sure that'll happen after Bora Bora. Um, so this one is in, let's see, um, 90 Tweed Pink Paradise. And they last for quite a while too. I've had my other ones for years and they haven't hit pan or anything. Warranted, I don't use them every day, but I have used them quite a bit. So they do last for quite a while. So it's kind of a very like fuchsia color in person. And I thought that would be nice for, um, you know, when I'm a little bit tanner in the summer. And then it also comes with a little baby brush as well. I really like these like highlighter sticks. So this is the um, Bomb Essential Multi-Use Glow Stick Sculpting in, um, what is the shade of this? I don't have my glasses on, I really can't read this. Is it just called Sculpting? I have no idea. Um, I think it's just called Sculpting, I don't know. 
I thought there was like a name to it, but it's basically just like a very subtle highlight, which is really good for no makeup days. Um, I like how it's a stick form, so it's really nice for traveling. Next are some things from Hermes. Okay, so first thing is this headband. So this is the headband. Um, I think this is so cute. Um, I opted for a size small. Um, normally I have kind of a big head. I would have purchased a medium, but the guy was saying that he thought a, um, a small would be better for me because it does run kind of big. As we can see, I'm really into scarves and like headpieces and stuff like that. I love the Missoni um, headbands, so I really liked that. So cute. I absolutely love these colors. This pattern is absolutely adorable. And I also had a hat of this, um, like version of this print, which was also on my list to purchase, but it just looked so different in person. I tried that one on at, at the uh, George V store location. So with that one, that was the one I went to first. They didn't have this headband there, um, only at the flagship store, but then they had the hat version. And the hat was just like kind of flimsy and weird. I don't know, I wasn't really vibing well with it. So um, I ended up not getting the hat. But I love this headband, it's literally so adorable. The next thing is a belt. Um, I have been dying to get my hands on this belt. Um, so I've been looking at this color, it's also reversible, and then they also had a baby blue. Um, and I was looking at these online, but they just never seem to have my size. I also wasn't really entirely sure what my size is because um, some of my other belts are size 80 cm or whatever, um, and I wasn't sure if Hermes runs small, large, I wasn't really sure, so I felt like I had to try it on in store, and I did purchase the last one of this one. I really like how it's kind of this burgundy uh, maroon color, and then it's on the other side, it's a little light baby pink, really cute, um, and this is in a size 80 cm. And the belt buckle with it is this really cute silver one. So this was purchased at the George V store location, the belt and the buckle. Um, which was just a way more normal experience in the flagship store. Flagship store literally was a nightmare. Um, and it comes in this really cute little mini dust bag. Um, so I actually went in there to purchase the like colored enamel um, belt buckles. I'll put a picture on the screen. I wanted to get them in like a bunch of different colors. I thought they were really cute. Um, and then I also wanted to purchase the belt strap in the baby blue color, but they didn't have that one in my size. They only had that one in 75 and I'm an 80 because I like to wear it low. Um, 75 definitely would have been my size if I was wearing it high-waisted or like with a dress. I don't like that look personally. I like to wear it with like um, pants, like tailored pants, um, and to wear it kind of like low-rise a little bit. Um, so that's why I'm a size 80, otherwise it would have been a 75. I don't know. Um, it's like this really unique tribal print in the silver buckle. So I'm obsessed with this, and then, um, as I was saying, I was going to purchase the enamel ones in different colors, but the lady was saying that they will tarnish over time. Not tarnish, but, like, um, the color will wear off and stuff, so she was saying that the silver's better quality to purchase, and then I also just liked this buckle a lot better in person and on the strap. Um, let me put it on the strap so that I can show you guys. Hopefully it's focused. This is how the belt buckle looks on the strap. I don't want to fully loop it, but this is how it would look on the reversible side. So I just needed a good little belt. Um, I do have other belts, but they're kind of flashy, and I kind of wanted something a little bit more of a refined look. Um, you know, I am 25, so in my recent years, I have kind of tried to mature my style a little bit, I would say. I still kind of dress teeny-ish um, in the teen teenager, kind of like teenager, um, in the summertime. I do kind of like Missoni and more colorful pieces for the summertime but I am kind of trying to refine my look a lot more than how I used to dress like a few years ago. Um, I feel like when you get into your 20s, that is kind of like the time that you change your style and sort of, you know, dress a little bit more refined than you maybe used to. I'm also not really in love with what I'm wearing at the moment. Um, I just feel like, I don't know, something's wrong with it. It's not working, but I don't, didn't have any time. Like I literally have to pack and leave on vacation, so I don't have time to change and I'm not in love with it. It's actually kind of killing my vibe right now. I just like the pink match to this, and I don't know, something about it is just off. Maybe it's the top underneath. Something about it's not working for me. So don't think that I think this is a vibe. I literally don't. Um, this isn't, I didn't even plan to wear this. I just had to put something on to film the video. Um, and I actually don't really like it together. Um, the jacket's Bottega. Um, I already hold this. Um, and again, the scarf's in Pucci. I like the pieces separately, but I actually don't really think I like them together. I don't know. It is kind of the same pink, but something about it's not working for me, I don't know. It looks kind of like overkill, try hard, and I don't really like it. Um, but I'm already wearing it, so whatever. So next thing is an Evelyn 16 bag in like a fuchsia color. So this is my first um, mini Evelyn. I don't know if they're called mini Evelyns, it's the 16 size. So I have the 29 size, but um, 
I've been dying for all of the 16s. I want to like collect these. I want the 16 in every color. Um, but my number one color on my list was fuchsia. I'm actually obsessed with this. I hope you can see it fine. Um, I know the orange in the background might be a little bit... Okay, you can see it a little better there. It's so adorable. I love the size too. It's so cute and it kind of unintentionally matches. Um, it's a slightly different shade of pink, but it unintentionally in a way sort of matches the Chanel visor. So maybe I could wear those together. I'll have to see how they look on worn together. Um, but I'm really obsessed with this bag. They also had a yellow color, but it was like a lemon yellow. Um, and I kind of wanted more of like a pale yellow, not a lemon. So the strap is on the inside and um, the strap also comes in its own dust bag. And so adorable. So here's the strap. I kind of like how it's a little bit, uh, it's not too thin or thick. It's like a perfect length and width. Um, so yeah, I really love this. I love the color as well. Here's the bag up close. Hopefully it's focusing well. It's the perfect shade of pink. And the last thing from Hermes is this little doll twilly. Um, and then I also had um, a t and, like two different scarves that were for my grandma, but she has them, so I don't have them to haul for you guys. Um, but yeah, so I purchased this little doll twilly. So adorable. I read so many questions on this too um, when I was wearing it in my stories. So I, I like to wear them as chokers. It just really elevates the look. It gives it a very um, like edgy, little unique vibe. I don't know. Um, I really like wearing these as chokers. You can also wear them as bracelets where you can like tie them. If you go on Hermes's website, or maybe I'll include photos, um, you can also wear them as bracelets. There's like multiple different ways you can wear these as. Uh, I think it was like $90. I think in the US it's 110 something like that. Um, pretty inexpensive. So they only had one left, <laughs> otherwise I would have probably purchased several of these. But they only had this one left. Um, and then I also, this is the one I wore my story in, in the Capri video, um, is this one. So I like to wear these as um, like little necklace choker moments that I just tie it in the back. Um, I also have a third one, but I literally can't find it. Um, I was trying to look for it before this video and I literally have no idea where it is. I have quite a bit more to share, so I need to like hurry it up. Most of the exciting things I already shared. Um, so last thing are these sunglasses from Louis Vuitton. So these were purchased at the Capri store location. And then my grandma purchased a bag. Um, it was like the Capini, <laughs> I'm totally not, that's not what it's called. I don't know, I'll have a photo on the screen because I'm really bad with names. Um, so these are the sunglasses from Louis Vuitton. And in the US, there were like 800 or something and there they were 500 or something like that. Um, definitely a good deal. They're very heavy, I will add that. If you're thinking of purchasing these, they are very heavy. Um, I don't think these can be worn for long amounts of time because they are quite heavy. I also have a very small nose, so I really can't wear heavy sunglasses for too long. Um, so they are more of a vibe moment. It's not something that I would want to wear all day because they are very heavy. Um, like, very, very heavy. Um, I think I saw, um, I believe it was HRH Collection on here on YouTube who has these sunglasses too. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. I'm pretty sure it's her who has these. Um, they look really good on her as well. Um, I just would say they're pretty heavy, so they're not super comfortable. And I do have a really little nose, so I, sometimes I can't really wear certain sunglasses because they'll either just fall off or it's too heavy and it really like hurts my nose. Okay, so that's it for um, most of the like luxury fashion pieces. Um, next thing um, is from this jewelry. Um, what was it called? It was like Davu Jewelers or something um, in Santorini. And um, so I purchased this necklace and then this bracelet and some really pretty um, little like stars. I'll link it if I can. I don't know if they have a website or anything like that. Um, but it's really pretty. It's these little stars that have like multiple different colors. I think it's like sterling silver and gold plated. I would have much rather preferred solid gold, but they didn't have it and I was obsessed with um, this collection or whatever. Um, and then the jewelry designer is Demetrios, um, something like that. Um, I guess he's won like awards in Vegas or something. Um, hopefully the camera is focused. This is the necklace and this is the bracelet. So as you can see, it's like a multicolor little star stone um, on the necklace and bracelet. Next are three things from Guerlain. So these came in PR. I don't know the prices. I'll have them all linked. So the first thing is this. Uh, Youth Oil and Balm. I think this is like a moisturizer um, and it has like a cute little bee on the top. Um, my mom's already stole this. She wants this product so I won't even be able to update you on how it works because she's stealing it. Um, and then the other two are this um, scalp and hair 
youth oil and serum my mom also wants this product so i won't be able to update you on this one either and then this one i've already started using this this one's um so i got to keep one of my three products um this is youth watery oil um and i really like this it's actually quite moisturizing it has a very nice fragrance to it and i don't typically like skincare that has fragrances in it because it can sometimes irritate sensitive skin and i have very sensitive skin but it actually doesn't irritate it at all it has a really soothing scent um, and yeah, I really like how moisturizing it is as well. Next are three things from Drunk Elephant. These also came in PR. Um, so this is their Proteini Polypeptide Cream. This is a second one of these. Um, I really love this moisturizer. I also love moisturizers, anything skincare wise that has peptides in it. Um, so this is a really good moisturizer, especially of sensitive skin, and it will also do something for your skin. So I have some moisturizers that I like to use, like the Chanel Number no. 1, um, that kind of just maintains my skin, um, and it also is really nice under makeup. And then this one's one where if I kind of needed a little bit of a boost in my skin, I would use this one. So I have like different products for different things um, that I kind of um, rotate around using. And the other two, this is a refill of the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. Um, I'm sure everyone's heard about this product. It's an amazing product. Um, and it's a really cute little facial. It has like a little white and pink bottle. Um, and this is my second one of this. And then the last thing from Drunk Elephant. I'm obsessed with this product. I think this is probably like my fourth bottle. This is the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. This is also really nice for traveling because you can use this for your hair, your body, or your face. So it's kind of a three-in-one product. Um, it's very moisturizing. It's really good also if you're kind of trying to avoid your skin becoming dry when you're traveling. So I really love this face oil. Next are two things from Kopari Beauty. These also came in PR. And then I also have four products from another line, uh, also from Kopari Beauty, to share after these two. These are both sunscreens. This one I actually had to remove from my um, suitcase because this I'm packing with me for Bora Bora. It is an antioxidant face shield mineral SPF 30 sunscreen for your face. Um, I really like mineral sunscreen. For face sunscreen, I don't really care so much when it comes to body, but for face I do prefer to have mineral and I also really love this iridescent little um, packaging and also the pump. So when you take the top off, it's a pump. So I really love all of Kopari's products. They're very good for sensitive skin, acne prone skin, etc. Um, all of their products are very safe to use and good for your skin if you have sensitive or acne prone like myself. And then this one, I haven't tried this product yet. I haven't tried either of these, but I just know that I'm going to love them because I love everything from Kopari Beauty. Um, and this one I am taking with me. This one I'm not just because it is quite large and I feel like it might break if I try to pack this. Um, but it's their Sun Shield Body Glow Broad Spectrum SPF 50. Um, it has a uh, little like uh, glitter or something in it. Um, it doesn't look like, it looks like it's very natural looking, I'll say. Um, sometimes products can be a little too glittery. This one seems a little bit more natural. Next, four products from Kopari. Um, I think these are new. They're their Tahitan Vanilla Hydrating Body Milk uh, with coconut oil and uh, shea butter and chamomile. Um, so there's that, and then here's a body wash, the same line. And then um, this is a body butter. So this one's a Ultra Restore Body Butter, and then this one was a Hydrating Body Milk. And then the last product from this line is their Vanilla Melt. I thought it was just interesting timing-wise to receive this because um, I received these in PR package considering I do have to stay in Tahiti for one night before um, going to Bora Bora and then these are called Tahitian. Um, so yeah, I really like also the color. It's like a very neutral beigey brown. Lastly are some things from Givenchy Beauty. So the first things are these Rose Perfecto. I think it's like a new, um, they came in PR so that's why I don't know. Um, Perfecto, I think this is a new like lip gloss balm. I believe it's like a moisturizing lip gloss balm. Um, Laura Mercier also came out with something like this but these ones have like a swirl in them so the color is really unique. Um, and I also just love the packaging of these. They're so adorable. Um, I love the little swirl too. It looks like it's a mix of like a creamy white color with, um, you know, like the reds and the pinks and stuff. Also this one it has black in it. It doesn't actually go on black. Um, I already researched it. So um, yeah, very beautiful colors. Some of these were even already sold out on Sephora and stuff. Um, so yeah, definitely check these out. And then these are some skincare products from Givenchy Beauty. So in this little white package was this little gusha. I don't, I'm guessing you can't actually purchase this on their website. I think this was just part of their PR package. Um, I don't even know if I'm saying gusha. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but you can kind of use this to like contour your face and stuff. Um, I've never really used these, but I've been kind of getting a little bit more into using them and interested in trying them. I do know that they work over time. I have friends that use them and they do work over time. It's just something I think you have to be very patient with. Um, so then, what else is in here? Um, a Radiance Reviver Emulsion, so it's a skincare product. And then this, um, it's all the same Skin Perfecto line. This is a Skin Glow Priming Lotion, so that seems like it would be really nice to use under makeup. 
and then this is a vitamin blend glow serum where I really like how it has vitamins in it okay this is going on my skincare um, counter I really want to try this now um, I love anything with vitamins in it and then the last thing in here is this irresistible toilette um, which is a really nice fragrance as well so that's it for this video I hope that you guys enjoyed it let me know what your favorite item was that I hold and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys